turn down. Nobody. As long as you have a steady income, you will be approved. Go to upcarcredit.com or stop in Napoleon's Auto Expo on U.S. Autos and you'll be driving today. Nobody is turned down. Nobody. Good evening, everyone. Well, the NIT has seen a lot of scoring and a lot of close games. And I think with Michigan going to the Final Four, the teams are going to step it up a notch tonight and play as good as the Wolverines. To Lakeview Gymnasium, Martin Sports of Gwynn taking on Steno's Bar of Niagara, Wisconsin. First half, Francis Plow will get the layup here. He finished with 17 points. The game was tied at 11. But check out this defense. The big fella, Herbert Kruger, will block the shot to himself and will go all the way to the lane to finish, taking a 21 to 20 lead. Then Steno's bar though does respond as Jeff McKeon will hit the jumper. He finished with 21 points on the night. And the team from Niagara just kept up the pace as John Swanson passes ahead to Nick Sorison and he gets pushed to the ground but converts on the layup. What a finish. Steno's bar up by three. But then later in the half it'd be Sorison. He tries to save it but throws it right to Nathan Washer and he goes all the way to the lane and Euro steps for two. He finished with 16 what a nice crafty layup there. And the Gwyn boys up by four, but Steno's bar kept it close as John Swanson was hot from the on the arc. He switches his three. He finished with 28 points to go up one. But Tanner Norman must have watched Trey Burke against Kansas this weekend. He makes his three from around NBA range. And Martin Sports goes on to win this one, 87 to 76. In class double E, it would be... The Stewart and Sheridan coming out with a one-point win. Tyler Mercier finished the game with a game-high 33 points. AlphaMichiganSource.com for all the recaps on the games tonight. Kind of nice to see baseball again, too. Good start for the Brewers and uh, Tigers as Both well. Both teams, so. opening day wins, so yeah. maybe they can go 162-0. And let's not forget about those Cubs, too. They won their opening day game. They did. So. You're a big Cubby fan. That's right. All right, thanks, Donnie. Just ahead tonight, an antique stations of the cross from Italy finds a home at Maryhill Manor in Niagara. The story next.